that's why you cheer. Normally it's more dramatic. <laughs> so welcome to OpenStreetMap, to State of the Map. Um, sorry for the delay, normally I start more dramatic than that. Um, and so, if I hit my slides. Um, here we are at State of the Map. I'm Gregory. Um, do come and say hi to me during the breaks. I'm nicely wearing one of the green badges that you can get from the desk. Um, I also want to say hello to the people watching the live stream. I think you can now hear me. Um, if not, you'll be tweeting, and we'll get onto that. But before we get onto this, um, some of you may recognise me, but from the university, I want to welcome Professor Zip, who's going to introduce us um, and welcome us officially to the conference. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, it's my big pleasure as a host uh, to welcome all of you here to the State of the Map from Heidelberg. Um, it's uh, of course, not me who's doing all that work, but the local team, wonderful team, and thanks to them, first of all. But then you may ask, why Heidelberg? And uh, I might point out to our more than 10 years of uh, activities with OSM data and developing OSM services, but because I'm an old and white-haired professor, I have to uh, tell you a really old story about historic uh, things starting in 1386, uh, so more than 600 years ago, that's when Heidelberg University was actually founded, making it the oldest university in Germany. And what's the story about that? The story is that it has a motto since then, which is in Latin, and it says, Semper Apertus. Does anybody know what that means? Always open, that's it. So, uh, always open is six, since 600 years the motto of Heidelberg University, which makes it the perfect place to welcome you for open data and open access and open source conference. But 600 years ago, it was not about that things, it was about being open-minded. And uh, open-mindedness means, yeah, th letting new ideas from all parts of the community, from different um, regions of the world, cultures, natures, uh, subgroups uh, in specific thematic areas and so on, come and uh, let inspire you and discuss it in an open manner. And I think this is very important for a, a community that big and uh, diverse as uh, the OSM community is right now. And uh, that's why I really ask you to be open. And uh, that comes to our motto of the um, conference, which is Bridging the Map, which is again an adaptation of one of the themes at Heidelberg University, which is actually crossing bridges, because we have this diversion of the natural science campus where we are here at the moment, and the humanities and social science campus at the old university, which is divided by the Neckar River. And bridging the map is something uh, Heidelberg University really strives to do for a long time, taking active measures. Um, and because this does not come naturally, you have to do something for that. Uh, to integrate the different disciplines, the different thinkings, the different languages people talk. And uh, I hope that uh, this motto can be a part of this conference where we all come together now face to face, be able to talk to each other in person and, um, yeah, uh, bridging the map. So, for Heidelberg University, that worked out quite well, actually. So, we are very good in the recent rankings, and uh, maybe one other sign uh, is, uh, you can see an other event taking place next week, which is the Heidelberg Laureate Forum. That's an event where Nobel Prize winners, Turing Award winners, and Field Medal winners gather together uh, in a yearly meeting. And if you are on your pub uh, crawl this evening or over the weekend, it's quite possible that you bump into a Nobel Prize winner, and uh, so we are in very good uh, company. Um, and that shows that uh, together we are stronger, that uh, when we really try to bridge the map and being open, uh, that this is a possible to a uh, successful future. Yeah, future, that's the third and last theme 
Heidelberg, uh, has in its logo, it's written Zukunft seit 1386, so future since 1386, looking towards the future, being progressive, shaping the future, but with a knowledge and background what, where you come from. And future is, of course, also the theme of the day with Fridays for Future, Scientists for Future, being active for climate strike. And, uh, of course, GIS, maps, geodata, geoscience methods, and for that reason also OpenStreetMap has some role in that. Yeah? We know that it's important that we can um, measure and uh, model the environmental issues uh, with maps, with geographic information, with geographic techniques. So we don't want to overstretch the goal of OpenStreetMap, but it has a little role in it. Some examples from our side at Heidelberg University include, for example, the climate protection map, the Klimaschutzkarte, or the or open fuel service, which is a service that calculates fuel consumption and also uh, emissions causing air pollutions from cars along the routes. Uh, being integrated in the yeah, first OSM route planner open route service or generate land use maps from OSM and remote sensing data combining that with machine learning and so on. So, we think that uh, OSM can be to some degree part, part uh, to provide better data, to make more informed decisions also about our future. And this is, was also a big topic and heavily discussed in the hot summit uh, over the last few days already. But now I think it's actually time to get the study party, party started. <laughs> Go be open, semper apertus, and bridge the map for a more climate-friendly future maybe. Uh, but first of all, enjoy Heidelberg, have a good conference, and all the best. Thank, thank you, Professor Sitt. Um, so, a wonderful welcome there from the history of uh, being open to OpenStreetMap and open data. Um, what I'm saying now, there's a lot of information I'm probably going to give you. Um, there's probably some notices I forget. Um, but if you need some help, first of all, you'll see people in these beautiful blue T-shirts. They're here to help you, so you can ask them a question. Um, they don't know everything but they'll have a smiley face um, and they'll help you find someone who can answer your question. Um, so if you're unsure, if I've told you too much and you've forgotten it, um, go find one of them, that includes me, um, and they can help you. Um, you can also look at your booklet. I've scribbled over mine to say which talks I want to go to um, and, and where I need to be. Um, so look at your booklet, it's got helpful information it's got maps, it's got other things in there. Um, you can check the website as well, which has up-to-date information. Um, and there's some boards outside um, in the foyer. Um, the orange boxes on there are changes from the booklet. So maybe you just want to scribble on and update your booklet to be the most up-to-date. Um, things happen and, and we have to change things. Um, there's also the Gigaty app has the schedule in there as well. Um, so lots of ways to find information um, and hopefully we can help you. Um, and if you're really struggling to find someone in a blue t-shirt, you've all come past the welcome desk where you registered and there'll always be people there. Um, so we're here um, with the theme Bridging the Map. We want to make friends and support each other. You know, there's lots of us here. We've all come from different places, whether that's different countries, different backgrounds, um, which is really great. Um, some of us on one of the tour guides went into a museum and the lady asked where we're from and we had the UK, we had Germany, we had Switzerland. And this lady was going, oh, and, and where are you from? Malaysia, oh, and where are you from? Greece, oh, and it was really exciting, and I think she was quite impressed. And I really love that in our conference. Um, we've got a code of conduct to, to kind of show our commitment to trying to provide a safe and inclusive space. Um, and it just kind of says we want to deal with things. Um, if you're struggling, maybe if you felt uncomfortable or unwelcomed, um, then, then we want to know about it so we can sort it out or, or find out what the, the issue is. Um, and so, to avoid that going to too many people, if there are issues, we want to deal with them 
sensibly rather than things just spreading. Um, the Code of Conduct volunteers and myself, Gregory, and we have Christine sat down here, if you can wave to her. Um, so so we, you can come to us um, if you've got anything you want to talk about um, on that. And, and if you're unsure, as I say, you can find someone in a blue T-shirt. Um, they'll look after you and they can guide you. They have ways of contacting us um, if it's something you need to get someone. They'll also help you should you... Um, should you feel unsafe, if you want to know how to get back to your hotel, they can help you with transport, or, um, or, or should they need to, you can, they'll put you in touch with the local authorities and help you there. Um, but most of all, let's all be friends, let's say kind things, let's have a great conference. Um, some of you will feel uncomfortable if you're not connected, um, so the Wi-Fi details, if you connect to the Wi-Fi network, you need web access, and go to the website. On the back of your name badge, there's a username and password that you can log in for your free Wi-Fi. Um, it's tied to your name, so don't share it. Um, but that should all work. I've connected fine. Hopefully you will too. Um, and we want to thank our sponsors. Um, so we have Baden-Württemberg, uh, Ministry of Transport, that we'll be hearing from them in a moment. Um, and we've got, so they're the, the Baden-Württemberg, it's the region of Germany we're in, um, and, and they kind of help oversee the transport. Um, Mapbox, um, I hope you've heard of them, they're a big name in the open street, Map World and the Geo World. Um, they've got a few talks um, scheduled in uh, this weekend by their staff. Um, very interesting, and they've got stand outside. Um, Microsoft Bing, you might have heard about them, and maybe Facebook. Um, Facebook has a, have a talk, I'm not actually sure Microsoft Bing do. Um, all interesting people, and we wouldn't be able to run a conference like this. It, it takes a long time, there's things that cost money most of all, um, and so they help us. They also help, along with the other sponsors, um, to support the scholars that come. So. Um, there's a few of you here who will have not been able to come to this conference if you couldn't have support with the flights and the accommodation. Um, so we thank the sponsors for those. Um, cool. So there's a lot to expect to say. This is a very packed booklet. Um, so there's talks, there's workshops. Maybe you've looked through and you're starting to see the ones you want. There's an academic track. Now, the academic track has been kind of reviewed and there's proceedings and it's all very um, good if you're academic. It's, you know, professional and, and great in that. Um, I'm not an academic, really. I try and pretend to be sometimes. Um, I can still go to those talks. If you're interested, there might be a talk you want to know. What research are they doing or have done um, around open geodata? You can go to the academic talk and, and go in there. Likewise, anyone who's just come for the academic track, come to the other talks. Um, and it's really great to see that bridging different communities. Um, and, and make sure you move around um, and go to different tracks. Um, we have a few traditions. So we have some bookable spaces, which used to be called Birds of a Feather. So. There's lots of different groups within OpenStreetMap. Um, perhaps you're trying to do some riverboat routing and you want to find a solution and you want to see if there's other people working on that. You can propose a bookable, you can use the bookable space to propose people get together and discuss that. Um, maybe you enjoy mapping parks and you want to know if there's other people and you can learn from them. Propose a session. Um, I won't go through all the possible topics, it's endless. Um, and if you want to um, use the bookable space, there's a flip chart out in the foyer by the job board. So it's kind of on the back of this wall opposite the welcome desk. Um, and you can go there and write your name up on a slot. And I think we're going to make a sign up for lightning talks later. Lightning talks are kind of five minutes, very snappy talks. Um, so you can come with slides, you don't need to. Um, but it might be something cool that you want to share or that you've done, but you weren't able to 
kind of propose in time for the official call for sessions. Um, so you can do that in the lightning talks. Um, and there's some evening activities. I won't go through them all because they're in the booklet. But tonight we're at Hibulhalla. So um, we'll have a social. There'll be drinks and food. Um, and the details are in the booklet. And we'll be talking about them later in the day um, and the week. Um, so if you want to go to that, um, there will be information. Um, yep, and so I think amazingly I'm working quite well on time. Um, is it all making sense to you? Yeah. Are you all awake yet? Yet. Hey. Cheer if you love maths. Hey. There we go. 